Hey guys, Max here. Uh, another update on the DC3 and how I'm going with it. Uh, basically, I've been working on fiberglassing the last about a week. Uh, so I've been uh, preparing, sanding, um, and yeah, laying the fiberglass. So um, it's come up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll show you the wing. I've got that out. It's a wing. Really happy with how it came out. So this is basically um, a layer of uh, one ounce cloth on either side, um, which I've run all the way down to about there and overlapped. And then I've gone over it with another piece of cloth, which extends from about there, about there, to around the other side. Um, so that makes that leading edge just a little bit stronger, a bit more hanger rash resistant. Um, I've done a similar thing on the on the uh, tips as well, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over them with a third layer, just because I've found just like, uh, just when I'm handling them even, I'm finding that I'm actually resting them or laying them on these, so I figure I'm probably gonna do that in real life as well when it's all up and running um, it's not going to hurt to have that a bit thicker just to help um, with that underlying structure so the paint doesn't sort of chip um, so trailing edge that's glass as well so you probably see the hinge slots already cut so it's looking good first time I'm working with uh, peel ply so you can really see where that is used like if we look at that finishing it's, it's just really nice and then you look at somewhere like like that and you can just see if I get that on the right angle you can see the difference in the finish so it's just a bit thicker so the peel ply really thins out the epoxy and sort of sort of nearly like self levels it so it produces a great finish really happy with it there's another example of an area that um, so I didn't, didn't use peer ply on just because I was probably patching up an air bubble. There's a couple of little air bubbles in there like here where there's like, they're just, they're nothing. I just need to fill them with a little bit of epoxy so I'll get a syringe and just syringe under there. Otherwise there's very few of those. The wings turned out um, excellent, my best job ever. Especially when you compare it to like, um, like the Wilga, which is my first ever crack at this. Uh, this is the Wilga. So the Wilga's up there. And if you have a look, you can really see like areas like this where it's quite pronounced. Yeah. And that's because when I first, this is my first effort, basically I did a layer of epoxy with the glass and then went back over with another layer of epoxy and then I had all these high spots of epoxy that I had to sort of sand down and it just created so much work. I learned a lot from doing this this one actually. And if you have a look at that on like the Hellcat, you can see it's a lot, the finish is a lot nicer. There's none of that crap that was on that Wilga. But if you have a look on like the bottom of the wing, uh, like that bit there, I haven't paid quite as much attention to detail as that, to that, but yeah, I was still using the two layer epoxy technique there as well. So um, yeah, this peel ply has definitely paid off. Very happy with it. Um, yeah, so I was a bit upset actually because the lower section here, I did this today and the only thing I've done different compared to all the others I've done, everything else the same method. I've basically fiberglass in the shed, left it um, with the wings, maybe like, the next day I took them out in the sun because they were still a bit tacky just to finish them off and that sort of hardened them up really quick. So I thought I could do the same with this lower section um, except I basically just put the epoxy on and took it straight out to the to the sun. And I think, well, from what I read, uh, well, what's happening is, you see, it's got these like little air pockets raised. Um, it's pretty bad there, just these little air bubbles everywhere. Um, 
I used enough epoxy. The only thing I did differently literally was took it out to the backyard and chucked it in the sun on the concrete so it wasn't on grass or wet grass or anything. But, um, so basically, to fix this, I'm now sanding these areas because they had no epoxy. You can just sand them with a the sandpaper. They just disintegrate. Um, and I'm just going to go back over this with some um, one-inch cloth. Even though it's going to add a little bit of weight, I find that actually, especially like the wings especially, I noticed just adding that extra, having that peel ply, just it's so much lighter than my previous jobs. So, yeah, I'm not... I'd rather have this a nice continuous fiberglass finish and add 10, 20 grams worth of weight than have to leave that and then when I go to sand it shows through or when I go to paint it shows through because I haven't sort of yeah it's not it's not a great way of going about it I'd think so same happened up the front as well so not as bad but you can see there just like yeah yeah anyway you learn these things as you go so no dramas um what else I've done the I started the fixed gear today so I did a bit of work on that just some silver soldering so that come up uh, pretty well the plans say to use um, quarter inch wheel collars which uh, which I have it's just to drill them for the quarter inch um, gear plus the 3 16 um, trailing edge part of the gear um, but I found when I did that I basically that that actually disintegrated when I put the drill through it um, so I did my best just to smooth it out, which is what's happened. But if you have a look here, that's meant to go there and then silver sold it on. But I think it's just not enough meat. I don't like it. So I'm going to go to a, just get a bit of um, plate or a thicker tube or something and, and use that instead. Don't like this. I think it's just... Mm, just a lot to ask of silver solder and such a small little... Um, collar um, so you know, I'll grab a bit of that and chuck this chuck this on ok so the fixed gear is going to look a little something like like that mm. should be pretty good um also got, and thanks to Rob from Aubrey RC Hobbies, got these bad boys. Um, so they're a pneumatic tyre, which I'm hoping can um, help out with just soaking up some of the landing forces that I expect. And, you know, it's an unsprung fixed gear that needs something, I think. So hopefully this is enough. And I'll just have to make sure I land really, really good all the time. So <laughs> we'll see how we go with that. Um, what else? Oh, big thanks to Ryan. He knows who he is. He's been a champ and he's literally been going out to a DC3 and taking pictures um, for me. Just, yeah, solid effort, man. I really appreciate you doing that for me. Um, we've been focusing on, like, this transition from the belly to the, um, to the, to the leading edge of the um, centre section, which is sort of the transitions. I'm pretty happy with it now. Um... And we've, I've got to work on these. So I had some balsa blocks extending out to here. Not balsa, sorry, some foam blocks. And it just wasn't working. And after Ryan sent me some further pictures of this section, um, I had to rethink it. So, you know, because of that, um, that's, that's made... This is going to be a better result just because, you know, someone went out and took some photos for me and I appreciate that. So thanks, Ryan. Um, and... Yeah, well, thanks to all the other guys as well that have just been um, giving me some tips. Those guys that are building or have built one, and um, you know, I think about all that stuff that you guys have done, and um, even a guy today on the Facebook page has helped me out taking some photos of the under area of the nacelles and the throttle servos and where he had them. So, um, all those little things make a massive difference because I can sort of employ them into my build as I go instead of. Um, sometimes having to go back and do things differently. Um, yeah, so I appreciate um, 
those guys that are touching base and giving me a hand uh, really means a lot. And um, yeah, thanks for you guys for watching the videos and you know, hopefully you guys are all staying nice and safe and um, having some fun with your projects. Um, yeah, so stay safe and I'll let you know how I go in the near future. See ya.